hi everyone this quick update about bitcoin so what we can expect right now that's what i'm here to talk about still not yet subscribe the channel subscribe the channel press the like button leave a comment join with us in a facebook page guys i give the so many signal about bitcoin in case of if you check these all the details might be you will not lose a lot of money and previously i already explained we can expect a 10 percentage dropped so same as it is we seeing the bitcoin drop as a 10 percentage after that in like huge recovery today that's the amazing thing and everyone excited so guys subscribe the channel might be you will lose a lot of details that's what i'm saying so from the beginning i just want to show you we already picked the same level what you guys seeing today uh in a first of february within a 13 days the people already entered for the extreme fear we are going back to 16,000, 15,000 level guys. So I already give the explanation. This is the fourth wave we can expect it to pull back as a fourth wave. The fifth wave expectation I already gave. So right now we are seeing the first large wave in the fifth wave guys. So it might be we can expect it again pull back to 23,500 but look at this candle guys in case of if you put the day candle that's the amazing day candle i will show you so many details don't leave the video till the end so right now after that 13 days we dropped imagine the 13 days drop recovered by three days so that's called the crypto magic and why this all the fear because of death cross you guys remember i already talked about the death cross and i talk about the golden cross so we seeing the golden cross reaction as well i will remove a little bit this one so the golden cross reaction and the death cross reaction the mix signal is going to be kill us so that's the issue yesterday and because of the cpi numbers i miss a lot of money guys because of the cpi numbers i already shared something happened in the rows so i am in the one features trading I lost a lot of money actually I did not lost actually I did not make the profit what I expected that's the personal thing I shared and I already shared what happened the same time I already exit and the same price target after that I make one short video about uh, OSIS network so right now even the OSIS network is still did not move above uh, as what I see already 8.3 and maximum 8.5 that's the my exit target is 8.4 so 0.84 so uh, that's the exit point for me after the exit point I did not see this till the market move and the rows move because the maximum rows can hit uh, 0.5 uh, 8.5 anyway it's happening it's happened we cannot change anything in the life that's the life so the next thing we seeing the massive moves so we'll talk about here in the daily chart and we'll talk about in a weekly chart first so weekly chart the consider about the week so we seeing the last two weeks the massive drops 14 days so what you guys expecting in a weekly chart that's what you guys see already so consider as a weekly chart wave count imagine the weekly chart wave count is amazing still the first five waves move is not yet done so first if i show you from the bottom and the peak so right now if i zoom out here what are you guys going to see the first higher low is confirmed we're seeing the first high low in the weekly chart and the engulf so wave one and the wave two right now we are in the wave three so minimum requirement is here 236 FIP level almost is come there uh, 382 FIP level and the problem where we landed area it's going to be signs of strength. So we already landed for the strength level. So this is the strength level we can expect a massive bounce. Even as I talk about previously this is the strength level beginning we just the bounce from here and the straight away the next target level. So right now we already reset for the 14 days before that meaning first of February we in the same level right now also we in the same level. So actually right now is very close to touch 50 period moving average like uh, in a weekly chart. So death cross is already happened you guys can see it's it's visible. 
by the way and already i explained the time we going when we're going to see the death cross as well the same as it is the uh we already seeing the death cross at 13 uh, february so it's already confirmed and the next thing we are very close that's the decision point so bitcoin need to chase both of the prices and bro both of the trend line as soon as possible so then it's going to be the next range breakout level we are going to enter the range breakout level as a monthly chart <clears throat> what we're seeing before the huge candle and the huge uh, small red candle right now the red candle become the green candle so that meaning the january already green <coughs> sorry guys the february already green so last year uh february is green guys so the march also green the last year so last year february we seeing the massive green candle same like we dropped drastically after that green and in case if i go a little bit far again 2021 man check out the candle guys the 2021 is the massive pump and the march also massive pump so only we seeing the 2022 the march is dropped the similar kind of dropped in case of if we go a little bit far 2020 2021 2019 january where 19 jan so 20 Jan also same like green and the March red and 19 Jan. 19 February still green guys. All the February months are green. So March also green. So 3 up to uh, 4 already 19, 20, 21, 22. In that last 3 years, 2 times the March is green. So we already end the February guys. We are not come back. For sure the price will not pull back. And the next good thing, if I show you, that's the amazing thing. So what we're seeing here, the monthly 50 period moving average, the price already landed 23,600. So we get the bounce from there. That's the area we're seeing the massive pump as well. That is the support we get. So previously, this is the area 23,602. In case of if I move to daily chart, where we landed 21,000 after that already we trying to get the support from these levels and as much as faster to recover these levels so when we chase the, these levels we get the bounce so that's what we seeing and almost the daily chart is visible that all the pullback so right now the concern to hold so my concern to hold here about 24,000 for 75 levels so especially I have one uh, technique. I will show you what the technique is. So this is the entire move for me in entire move. So better I used to use another one price range. The total price range is 12 percentage. Okay, we'll get as a 12 the round figure that's much more easier for so already 12 percentage we move from the bottom and we should hold this much three in one that meaning from the peak four percentage that meaning we should hold above this so the price should hold above 23357 till the time we hold that price we can expect a massive bounce as well so we don't want to see the pullback for this level in case of pullback that's going to be just pump and dump situation so in till the time price hold above 23357 that's going to be the next bounce for sure so in case of we can make the red candle a little bit tomorrow so we are already seeing the massive moves it's depend on two things and today what we're seeing here guys the stock market yesterday after that much crazy uh, cpi numbers and everything here and there i show you how the people confused they doesn't know what to do so if if even still you did not check about that the raw uh Aussie's content about the road short video please guys please check it out so then you will understand how the market react so in that mix signal we even we push higher 
so only uh, 0.1 percentage drop and uh, after that on the month on month everything only very little dropped so definitely we can expect it another 50 basis point rate hike in a one more time you guys remember from the beginning the year beginning i already explained how the planning what my expectation and the next concern is this one after peak so we are expected already and already it's almost to touch that level 16 and almost 12 so right now the concern the dollar index need to be come back again below this already two peaked so concerning dollar index even dollar index if you have the wave count you have a clear wave count guys so five waves move down we should we even we did not see the five waves we need to have the larger wave and today we're seeing the one more good thing about dollar index that's going to be helpful for the stock market and the crypto market even 100 period moving average already cross as well uh, to 200 so that meaning the hundred percent confirmation there this is going to be down so we need to see the prices and the mark we need to see the below 50 period moving average other than that we're going to see the another curve here as well so concern about the bitcoin i already explained the targets where we're going to be and where we should hold so in case of if you miss the lot of opportunity to buy you will have one more opportunity guys we will be little bit pull back so that pull back is better to enter that it's depend on you so thank you very much have a lovely day still i am super bullish about bitcoin guys you guys remember check it out my last two months contents i'm bullish about the bitcoin so i already seeing that pump i feel that prices so i already explained imagine guys how big it is if you zoom out it's like a one line so that's the amazing thing. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Be safe.